Scott, thanks for joining us. Obviously, a 1-1 draw at home today. Give us your reflection on that. Um, I thought we were awful, to be honest. Uh, a million miles away from where we've been in the last five weeks. Yeah, really disappointing. I feel like it's an opportunity missed. Um, Dover will feel like it's an opportunity missed now the 90 minutes is over. Um, thought they were a lot better than we were, to be honest. The lads in there are quite disappointed with, we just told them that we're disappointed with the performance. Um, I thought I was awful myself, I'll be honest, I'll hold my hands up. But yeah, I found it difficult today. I thought they were really good in terms of the tempo. Uh, they didn't let us play. We tried to play to our strengths and get Francis out wide 1v1s. We didn't give him the ball enough. Our quality into the front men wasn't good enough. Um, possession wasn't good enough. I think the, the positive is that we've got another point. Of course we have. Um, it's six unbeaten, but I look at games like this I, on a home turf and just think, do you know what, it'd be nice to have got three points. If we'd have turned up, I believe we might have done so, but credit to Dover, I thought um, I thought they were really good and we were really poor. Obviously, Dover seemed quite aggressive on the front foot to start the game. They obviously got the early goal, but are you pleased with the response of the guys for coming back into it? Um, yeah, obviously happy that we ended up getting a point, uh, but the overall performance was dreadful. Um, I think you look at the players that maybe come out of it credit today, I thought um, Temi and Matty Hall, I thought were solid enough at the back. Uh, there was one long range effort that's gone in the top corner, um, nothing they could have done about that. I thought they defended well, um, Wills pulled off a great save. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't feel like we played to our to our ability in terms of uh, individually. Um, we just said there's probably seven or eight players there under par today, which is disappointing, but it's like you say, you've still got a point, but it feels like we've been beaten. Um, but yeah, listen, six unbeaten. I've just looked at the other results again. It's like you say, it's a missed opportunity because you believe that if you get three points, it just creates a little bit of a bigger gap between you and the bottom sides. Um, yeah, I just feel really flat. I feel like I've been beaten, but um, yeah, it's, it's like you say, I'll try and remain positive for the, for the group, um, which we have to do. They're a great set of lads. It doesn't always uh, work out the way you, you want it to work. Um, but yeah, it's just a, just a bad day at the office, I guess. Like you say, maybe another positive will be Joe Dandy coming back into the side. We discussed before the game about what he can bring. How do you feel like the 65 minutes or so he had on the pitch went for him? Yeah, we had a plan to um, sort of not kill Joe because 90 minutes would have been difficult for him. Um, completely different tempo to the game on Tuesday night. So my plan was to... Um, me chuck, well, chuck myself with the right back, which wasn't ideal, uh, but it's like you say, we need to protect him, we need to make sure that he gets through the rest of the season um, unscathed. So it's great to have him back, of course it is, uh, but it's yeah, it's really difficult. I just was so hopeful this morning um, and then feel a bit despondent at the moment, but I think tomorrow morning when I wake up and have a look at the league table, um, it probably won't be so bad, but it's like you say, we wanted to put on a good performance for the people that came today, and I don't feel like we did that. I think it was quite flat. We needed to give them something to cheer about, and. Yeah, I don't think at any time we looked too dangerous, um, which has been unusual for us. We've played really well over the last few weeks. And I think people have noticed that. Um, but yeah, just a day at the office that you can kind of draw a line under and hopefully we can go again next Saturday. One of the positive possibly was we didn't give many chances away either. So do you think obviously the defence is a bit more settled and shored up a bit? Yeah, I think the chances that they had was from uh, in the transition where we lost the ball. I think when we lost it, we were quite open at times. Um, I think they had a great chance in the second half where the lad got slipped down the side, he's put it over the bar. Uh, was panicking a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we kept them to not too much, but in terms of what we did is what I look at, and I don't think we did enough. I don't think we hurt their back uh, back four enough. I don't think we tested a keeper anywhere near enough. And you can see that at the end, it was when we're clapping the fans at the end, it just, just felt completely um, miles apart from a couple of weeks ago when we played Dulwich, the place was bouncing. and just crave that feeling after a Saturday, um, especially here, you want to obviously celebrate a victory and it doesn't always happen, of course it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I just hate waiting a week to the next chance to, to get that feeling back. And yeah, listen, when I wake up in the morning, it'll probably be um, a better feeling, but um, as a group, it's like I say, we're, we're not too far off being a decent side. And I think we've shown that, but um, yeah, just upon reflection, just, just one of those days that um, didn't go to plan. And like, like I say, next week's obviously away to Hampton and Richmond, followed quickly by Chelmsford on the Monday. It's a good chance to obviously extend that unbeaten run to seven, eight matches and try and get a few more points on the board. Yeah, I think we have to realise where we were um, sort of six weeks ago when we couldn't get a draw, couldn't get a win. It was, it was really difficult. Um, but I think the levels and the expectation that we've set um, is down to us as a group. Um, we've set high standards over the last few weeks and like you said, we didn't manage to meet them today. But... To be six unbeaten, uh, we'd have snapped someone's hand off uh, that long ago. But um, yeah, it's just it's just one of those days. It's, that's all you've got to put it down as. Um, 
we've obviously got uh, Jean's birthday tonight um, upstairs, which would be nice. Hopefully we can celebrate that with her. And then just want to mention uh, Noreen as well that passed away a couple of days ago. Um, dedicate that point to where it would have been nice to obviously um, to get three points, but wasn't to be. So yeah, for Jean and Noreen, um, it's a special special day for Jean and obviously uh, in memory, memory of Noreen as well. Um, just dedicate that one to her. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, guys.